what's up guys quattro game back in the building for another video we're back at it again with another vlog today we're going to a really exclusive ferrari meet so y'all stay tuned let's hop straight into the video So effectively, we need a new engine. So after the pull at the beginning of the video, the car would go into limp mode and not come out of limp mode. Somehow, the engine was also making a very loud clanking noise. Here we go again. Got a screwdriver? We thought it was catastrophic engine failure, but we later found out was the high pressure fuel pump. I should be able to feel it. All right, hold up, hold up. Let me just feel the other one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's vibrating way too much. <laughs> way too much. Feel it, feel it. Touch this. Look, touch this. Oh. What? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. That's still bad. That's still bad. Yeah, like it feels like it. It literally feels like it's, it's like vibrating in the thing. But I wonder if... And then the fuel pumps. Yes. Yeah, it's it's always possible. <clears throat> okay. The cause of all of our issues was that one bolt right there. That tiny five millimeter bolt is holding in the high pressure fuel pump, and there's only two of them. So uh, one of them stripped out, causing the high pressure fuel pump to lean, and uh, yeah, engine very bad.
Okay, this is not a routine fill up. This thing is trickling gas out of here. What's up guys, Quattro Game back in the building for another video. Uh, today we're loading the 100 octane file on the A3 for the... Oh snap. <laughs> It's doing some weirdness. We're loading the 100 octane file on the A3. Going on, it just turned the radio on. Weird stuff is flashing. We're programming here. It says configuring ECU. I was just getting started. Okay, we just got cracking on it. So I went ahead and actually purchased some 102. So we're gonna fill up the tank with 102. It is expensive, let me tell you. Either way, um, and at any rate, we're loading up the tune, 100 octane. We're going to see how much spicier it is and if it's even worth it to do. Because it's so much more expensive than normal gas or E85. It may not even be worth it, but we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. So we'll load up the tune. We'll throw in the fuel. And we, uh, we'll we be ready to go. My light's on. The lights are off. The Ultralink is doing its thing. It's moving pretty quick. I've, I've been downloading the tune now for about a minute and a half. So it's moving really fast. Super easy to use this thing. The processes are a little bit strange. I feel like APR kind of needs to work on explaining what to do a little bit better, but when it's done loading, we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll see how she runs. It's not flowing, per se. Okay, so we're gonna take a break from filling <laughs> to uh, get in here. After they say you need to clear the trouble codes, so I'm gonna put the key back in the arm position so we can clear the trouble codes real quick. Clear. Vehicle programming is now completed. You can now start the vehicle and unplug your Ultralink cable. Boom. We got one more bar of fuel, so I'm doing something. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn this crap off. Remove the key. And for you people that guys that don't know about the APR Ultralink, it's super, super easy to use, uh, relatively cheap, and you can do all of the tuning or most of the tuning from the comfort of your own home. So if you don't have one, definitely pick one up. They're like 120 bucks. Uh, she let me get in that box, just had to talk like a nine. 